Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Let us pause for a while and feel the presence of the Lord.
Please pause for a while and feel the presence of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, now that the pandemic is hopefully in the past, we begin our new session in faith, hope, and love. As we gather, we pray that we may be ready to accept in our lives what the Lord is opening to us now and in the future. Please rise and join the choir in singing the entrance hymn. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So, good afternoon to everybody. Now that the pandemic is hopefully in the past, we begin our new season or session in faith, hope, and love. As we gather, we pray that we may be ready to accept in our lives what the Lord is opening to us now and in the future. Let us now remember personal prayers and intentions, and we ask the Lord to bless us in the beginning of this school year. And to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and pray for God's pardon and mercy. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, you sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. For all we pray the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The gift of the Spirit transforms the disciples of Jesus 
and they become courageous pictures of the good news. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there it appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement, they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Persians, Medes, and Elamites, Inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pompilia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Turn. 
turn to their dust when you send forth your spirit they are created and drew in a new the face of the earth Lord send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth The Spirit is the bond of unity. His gifts, therefore, should not lead to division, but to unity and peace in the community. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given from some benefit. As the body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we are all baptized in, into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons. And we are all given to drink one of the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to give honor to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I'm with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. 
praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Noong ako'y uh, bagong pasok pa lang sa seminaryo, first year high school, no, sa Christ Seeking Seminary, one year ahead lang kay Father June. No? At ang unang activity namin sa seminary, no, naalala ko pa ay yung brief, di, um, uh, conference with the Prefect of Discipline. No? Isang napaka-estrictong pare. No? Ang pangalan niya ay si Father Ben. At uh, naalala ko yung sabi niya sa amin, uh, you behave because your behavior in this seminary reflects what kind of family you came from, where you come from. So, eh ako naman talagang nag-behave kasi magkakaroon ng pagkakoy ng kamali, nakagawa ng kasalanan, ay hindi magandang impression lang sa aking familia. Kaya nga Ako'y ingat na ingat kasi makikilala nila ang aking pamilya. Sa gospel, sabi ni Kristo dito, ang narinig yung salita mula sa akin ay nanggagaling sa Diyos Ama. No? Ano ibig sabihin nito? Ipina, sa pamagitan niya, ipinapakilala niya ang anong klaseng Diyos Ama meron tayo. Uh, pinapakilala niya kung gano'n kung, kung gano na tayo kamahal. Sabi nga, kung nais mong makilala o malaman ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin, tignan mo kung paano nagmahal si Kristo. Kung, tig, kung, paano, kung gusto mong malaman kung gaano uh, pagpapatawad ng Diyos sa atin, tignan mo kung paano nagpatawad si Kristo. Tignan, kung gusto mong malaman kung gaano pagkumbaba ang Diyos, ay tignan mo ang pagpapakumbaba ni Kristo. Sapagkat ang role niya ay ipakilala sa atin ang ating Diyos Ama sa langit. No? Napaka-importante ho niyan sa ating uh, pananampalataya. At uh, bakit niya pinapakilala ang ating Diyos nung panahon na yon? Sapagkat nung time na yun, ay ang impression ng mga tao ay ang Diyos ay napakalayo. No? Na kapag ka ikaw ay nagdadasal, parang hindi ka naririnig. No? Parang ang layo lalo niya sa atin. At mapapansin lang tayo kapag tayo ay nagkakamali. Pag nagkakasala, ay parang pinaparusahan ka. No? Kaya nga, uh, kapag ka Ah, hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin ang ating paniniwala, no? Na kapag uh, may namatay sa, sa pamilya, ay siguro pinapurusahan ako ng Diyos. O pagka nagkasakit, o naghirap, o nawala ng trabaho, ay parang uh, tingin natin ay pinapurusahan ako ng Diyos. No? Naalala, naalala ko tuloy yung kwento ng isang, isang pintor. Siya ay pintor, hindi ng pintor ng larawan, no? Pero, pero siya ay pintor ng, ng bahay. Minsan na-assign yung isang pintor sa isang mataas na building. At itong pintor na to ay hindi ordinary yung pintor. Siya ay isang pipi at bingi. So hindi mo naman kailangan magsalita bilang isang pintor. No? Kaya minsan, nung nasa, nasa building siya, nasa third floor, sa labas ng building, nakatungtong sa kawayan, at nagpipinta. At habang siya ay nagpipinta, ay biglang lumindol ng napakalakas. At yung kawawang pintor ay nalaglag sa kanyang kinatatayuan. At uh, awan ng Diyos ay siya ay nakakapit doon sa kawayan. Kaya lang problema niya, nung siya ay nakabiti na doon sa kawayan, ay paano siya hingi ng tulong doon sa baba? ay pipi siya, hindi siya makasigaw. So, nag-isip siya kung paano, paano siya mapansin ng mga taong naglalakad sa baba. At ang una niyang naisip na paraan ay yung kanyang uh, 20 pesos sa bulsa nung kanyang pananghalian. At habang siya nakabitin, dinukot niya yung 20 pesos sa bulsa 
at naghintay ng dadaan. At nung makita niya may dumarating, pagtapat sa kanya, ibinato yung 20 pesos. At bumagsak eksakso sa harap nung mama, at nakita nung mama, biglang tinapakan yung 20 pesos. At tumingin sa kaliwa, tumingin sa kanan, at didampot, dinulsa, at umalis. Yung kawawang pipi, nandun pa rin, nakabitin pa rin sa taas. At uh, nag-isip ulit siya ng isang paraan. At ang naisip niya yung brass ng pintura. No? Kasi hawak niya pa eh. At ang ginawa niya ay sinamusawa niya sa pintura yung brass at naghintay ng dadaan. Na may dumarating na pagtapat sa kanya, inasinta niya, binato niya, tinamaan sa muka. Sumabog sa katawan yung pintura at pinagmumura siya doon sa taas. No? Pero nakababa siya. Nakababa dahil doon sa ginawa niya. Kung titignan ho natin yung kwento na yun, parang ganun yung ating pananampalataya at relasyon sa Diyos. Kapag ka maganda yung buhay natin, kapag tayo ay merong naibubulsang 20 pesos, tayo ay uma umaalis na lang, nakakalimutan natin yung pinanggalingan ng pera. Pero kapag ka tayo ay nasasaktan, kapag ka merong nangyayari masama sa atin, ang unang sinisisi natin ay yung nasa taas. No? Ganun ho ang ating relasyon sa ating Diyos. Kaya nga, sa Ebanghelyo ay pinapakilala lang ni Kristo sa atin kung ano merong Diyos tayo. No? Kung ano merong Diyos tayo. Pangalawa, ay hindi lang niya, pinapaki, hindi lang niya pinakilala sa atin ng Diyos kung anong klaseng may Diyos tayo. Hindi lang niya inilapit sa atin ng Diyos. Kundi ang Diyos sa pamagitan niya ay naging tao. No? Nakasalumuhan ng Diyos ang tao narinig niya magsalita ang Diyos. At ganun din ang Diyos. Narinig niya sinasabi natin, nakisalamuha sa atin, nakipamuhay sa atin, nakita niya yung pamumuhay natin. Anong implication nun sa buhay natin? Kapag ka ikaw ay nagdadasal at meron kang problema, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin sa Diyos na, Lord, hindi mo naintindihan ang nararamdaman ko. Kasi Diyos ka, tao ako eh. Hindi mo na sa pwedeng sabihin yun. Sapagkat ang Diyos mismo ay naging katulad mo. Ang Diyos mismo naging katulad natin. Nakipamuhay, nalaman niya ang buhay natin. Na nakasama natin. At dahil siya ay naging taong katulad natin. Amen. In the name Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise. We profess our faith together. We say, I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, Son our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered death under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And there He come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the shepherds of our souls, may they have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them, by God, through listening intently to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And we say, send us your Spirit, O Lord. Send us your Spirit, O Lord. That the Spirit of wisdom may guide our administrators, faculty, and all students of the Divine Word College of Kalapan. Let us pray to the Lord. Send, send us your Spirit, spirit O Lord. Lord that the spirit of truth may make us all witnesses to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Send us your spirit, O Lord. That the spirit of love may unite us in peace with mutual respect for all nations of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Send us your spirit, O Lord. For those who are sick and in need of healing, let us pray to the Lord. Send us your spirit, O Lord that all who have died recently, especially members of our family and friends, 
may share in Christ's eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Send us your spirit, O Lord. O God, you transform the hearts of the apostles to the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the gift of the same Spirit, we may always be wise, renewed in life, and strengthened in his consolation. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please rise. Hey, brothers and sisters. 
that is our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is uh, to right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. of our holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Nestor, our Apostolic Administrator, all bishops, all their, their consecrated, and all the clergy. Remember, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. and family with Christ, let us now sing together the Lord's Prayer. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
This is our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please remain seated for some announcement. Let us call Mr. Mark Solid III, our HR officer. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat, sa mga bisita, mga guro at mga kamanggagawa at mga kamag-aaral. Salamat sa Diyos. Sa araw na ito, bukas at sa hinaharap, sa gitna ng mga pagsubok na nararanasan natin sa ating buhay, palaging nandyan ang kanyang biyaya at gabay sa ating lahat. At ngayong hapon na ito, ating masasaksihan ang pagpapakilala ng ating mga pinuno ng ating paaralan. As I call your name, kindly stand up to be recognized. Our college president, Father Crispin A. Cordero, SBD. Father. Our vice president for administration, Father Vicente D. Castro, SBD. Our Vice President for Finance, Father Timoteus Gampur, SBD. And our Vice President for Academic Affairs and Basic Education Director, Brother Hubertus Guru, SBD. Our DWCC School Chaplain and and a uh, Campus Ministry Director and Community Extension Services Director, Father Renato L. Malbog, SBD. 
Our associate is school chaplain, Father Robert Alan Mekan, SBD. From the office of the Vice President, headed by Father Crispin A. Cordero, SBD, our Marketing and Media Affairs Officer, Ms. Claudette G. Sim. Our Accreditation and Quality Assurance Officer, Ms. Belinda Plikeyokleofe. Please come forward to be recognized. Ma'am Belinda P. Cleofe, our Accreditation and Quality Assurance Officer. Our Officers in Charge for the Research and Planning Office, Ms. Carmela M. Despues. From the Office of the Vice President for Administration, headed by Father Vicente D. Castro, SBD, Yours truly, Mr. Mark P. Solo III, the Human Resource Officer. Ms. Michelle B. Luzon, Student Affairs Director. Mr. Ronilo D. Rayos, the General Services Supervisor. And Dr. Karen P. Miranda, our school dentist. Dr. Carmencita Panaligan and Dr. Charmaine Fontamillas, our school physician. From the office of the Vice President for Finance, headed by Father Timoteos Gampur, SVD, our college accountant, Ms. Glossel M. Paredes. Ms. Babylin A. Medrano, our property custodian officer. And Ms. Mara P. O. Ocampo, our purchasing officer. Mr. Henry V. Lasquete, our IT infrastructure head administrator. And our IT system head administrator, Ms. Kat Catherine A. G. Adora. From the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs, headed by Brother Hubertus Guru, SVD, the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Alele C. Dugan. Dean, School of Business and Hospitality, Tourism Management, Dr. Shirley Mendoza. Dean from the School of Liberal Arts, Mr. Dennis Alcaraz. Our Dean from the School of Accountancy, Ms. Mary Jane R. Bautista. Our OIC Dean from the School of Engineering, Architecture, and Fine Arts, Architect Reselda M. Roldan. Our OIC Dean from the School of Information and Technology, Ms. Lay M. Casiple. Our Dean from the School of Criminal Justice, Ms. Genovelle A. Cuenca. And our OIC for Officers in Charge for the School of Education, Dr. Mary Jane D. Castillo. And our Dean of Education, and at the same time, the Officers in Charge of the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs, Engineer Rosvelinda I. D. Quiros. Our OIC Principal for the Basic Education Department, Mr. Wendell S. Gaspan III. And our College Registrar, Ms. Dimpa G. Malabanan. And for our College Head Librarian, Ms. Teresita M. Miralles. And for our College Guidance Director, Ms. Monalisa D. Perez. And once again, let us give our uh, administrators, school administrators, a round of applause. Thank you, and may we have a fruitful and successful school year. Please rise.
Let us pray. O God, who bestowed heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go in peace. Love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good afternoon everyone. Before we start sa natin po nating program, ay magkakaroon tayo ng 10 minutes break. Pwede din po kayong kumuha ng souvenir for our Holy Spirit Mass dito po sa harap kay, kay Sir Vic po. And for our...